Monday night chat with Wong Chen. Brought to you by the Member of Parliament for Kelana Jaya in collaboration with Invo. This is the final week of this, this, uh, this particular parliamentary session. Uh, we are doing this in one take where I will talk about the last four days. So, on Monday the 7th of August, we started with the Values Bill. The Values Bill was a very important bill because I've been harassed by values and property managers throughout the entire weekend to, uh, they're trying to lobby me to take a position but my, I stuck to my guns. I just feel that this bill is wrongly placed into the hands of the Ministry of Finance. I delivered that bill. Uh, on that Monday itself, I was not feeling very well. Uh, with a bit of congested nose, I had to take some medication. So that was basically Monday, a day where I spent a long, long hours waiting to debate and finally got a chance to debate on the Values Bill. Okay? Now, Tuesday the 8th of, 8, uh, 8th of August, uh, in the morning, this was a really busy day. In the morning, I was uh, being interviewed by uh, reporters to answer this issue about water takeover of asset water, uh, water assets being taken over by uh, Selangor government, why it was, it was delayed. At 11.30, I had a, I had a Pakistan policy meeting on the uh, employment insurance system where I had to give a briefing because I made a, a, a big public statement a week ago and that seems to have spooked the Ministry of Finance to withdraw the bill. So that's a big one, I had to go and explain. And I had to rush to the ASEAN Human Rights Lawyers Meeting where I met up with members of parliament from Philippines and also from Cambodia. Yeah? Then I had to rush back to the main building we had to give a, a press statement together with Abdullah Sani, uh, Datuk Johari and YB Sim on the EIS issue. Then, it was a makan time where we had a lot of free durian. I think you, some of you may have seen all this durian festival uh, consumption by members of parliament. It was organised by the Agriculture Minister for free and it was open to all the staff and also the assistants that were in parliament that day. Lastly, I met up with Rafizi Ramli's interns and to, I, I gave a very long lecture on policy making and what politicians actually have to do. Yeah? On Wednesday, I debated the Merchant Shipping Bill. Now, that is an important bill. It's a bit complicated, but essentially I highlighted the issue about whether China could be behind the reason why or the main motivation why this bill was pushed through. Uh, and then, this the Wednesday was a really, really long day. The, the, um, the parliamentary sitting lasted until 4 o'clock in the morning. The highlight of that was actually the law reform marriages and divorce uh, bill where unilateral conversion was supposed to be dealt with. I was so inspired by Kula Segaran's uh, speech on the matter and I, and I asked everybody to have a go and listen to it carefully. Yeah? I also met up with Zaid Hamidi, the Deputy Prime Minister who has agreed to help out with one of the organisation in Subang Jaya that needs a bit of approval for registration purposes. Uh, then I had a policy meeting with Ong Kian Meng, Liu Chin Tong, Stephen Sim and Dato Saifuddin Abdullah where I presented my views on certain policies. And uh, that was basically, there was a day where you had to shuttle up and down a bit like the last Tuesday. Yeah? And then today, Thursday 10, the last day of this parliamentary session. I debated on the Securities Commission Bill. Uh, it happened to be the very last policy speech for this sitting and it could very well be the last policy speech for the entire parliament uh, of, of this five years because we could go into an election. I thank the government, in, uh, government and all members of parliament that uh, you know it's been an honour to serve. If this happens to be the last uh, parliamentary sitting before GE14, then I really hope that we will take on the spirit of good open discussion and to maintain democracy in Malaysia for the sake of the rakyat. That's basically it for the uh, parliament this week. Hi, my name is Yasun and I study IT at Nanyang Polytechnic in Singapore. Hi, I'm Kaylee, I'm one of Wang Chen's new interns. And I just finished my second year studying law at Cardiff University in the UK. One fun fact about me, as I'm sure you've noticed by now, is that I like spinning in spinny chairs. But I can't really do that right now because I have a mic attached to my collar, so I can't just... Another fun fact about me is that I'm a triplet. Yeah, I know, right? So it's pretty cool because 
we can finish each other's sentences and sometimes we think alike. So it's kind of like we're telepathic. The issue for us, the long-term issue, is that the family members need to stay cohesive. Yeah? That's why we're taking this photo. Deal with the family structure early, there will be repercussions 10-15 years down the line. Yeah? This little project which costs very little for us, because you guys are doing it for free. <laughs> okay? uh, we're just going to spend on the, the photos itself, which will be about $5 to print. Yeah? So two sets of photos, two frames. We're going to go to Daiso by the $6 frame.
That's because Tina was too lazy to come to Parliament to shoot every day.